Nancy Pelosi is sounding off saying that she's having a bad morning. Well, you know, for the rest of the country, Nancy Pelosi having a bad morning is actually quite a good morning. Here is the Speaker of the House of Representatives, but not for long. There's no point in saying good morning because it certainly is not one. This morning, the radical Supreme Court is eviscerating Americans' rights and endangering their health and safety. But the Congress will continue to act uh, to overcome this extremism and, pr- extremism and protect the American people. Today, the Republican-controlled Supreme Court has achieved their dark, extreme goal of ripping away a woman's right to make their own dis- reproductive health decisions. Okay, I mean, the, the language here, the radical, it's a dark day. Congress will now have to vote. Wait, aren't you the Speaker of the House? Like over here, aren't you, aren't you like the head of the House of Representatives? And you're decrying the ability that you now have, the ability to vote on an issue you didn't have the ability to vote on yesterday. I've never heard of such a thing. So the Supreme Court says, guys, not our purview. Legislature, have at it. Nancy Pelosi's like, you can't give us that responsibility. That's dark and terrible. We don't want, we will act today. I mean, we won't, but we'll say we will, but we won't. But maybe, but we won't. The, the pathetic nature of a legislature decrying the fact that the Supreme Court just said that they can now legislate on an issue, is that's, that's nuts to me. It's just nuts to me. It's crazy. Meanwhile, you have the irrepressibly stupid Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. She went down to the Supreme Court doing what she does best, yelling and agitating and with no actual you know, remedy in mind. She's having such a good time. She's so happy. Okay. Um, in the streets is what she's yelling right there. In the streets and illegitimate. The Supreme Court, is, so it was only illegitimate the minute that she lost. That's when it was illegitimate. Nancy Pelosi, by the way, continued. Uh, she, she was saying that, um, you know, of course, things are super duper duper terrible and terrible and no good and very bad. Uh, also, um, you know, the, the, the reactions are pouring in fast and furious, and we are sort of reacting in real time to them. Again, the, the, to me, the most astonishing reaction here is from Merrick Garland. That it, it, it's, it's so crazy. It is just so crazy to me. Uh, Maxine Waters says, to hell with the Supreme Court, we will defy them. Okay, good luck with that. Meanwhile, Rob Bonta, the chief, the attorney general in the state of California, he correctly points out, I want you to know the SCOTUS ruling does not change your rights in California. Abortion remains fully legal in our state. Yeah, so this is why, by the way, all of the heat that is being generated is going to dissipate pretty quickly. Because if you want to uh, go to abortion Disneyland, you can head on over to Los Angeles anytime you damn well please. Right? That is still, unfortunately, the ability of, the, uh, of, of people who wish to kill the unborn in this country. So that's, uh, that's all solid stuff happening. Bette Midler said, get ready, gays. You're next. I don't... Okay. Uh huh. So they're, they're having a normal one. They're having a normal one. Meanwhile, Chuck Schumer says today is one of the darkest days our country has ever seen, ever in history. So just to note, our country has seen a civil war in which hundreds of thousands of Americans were slain over whether black people would get to be treated as human beings rather than property. This country saw lynchings for like a century. This country saw Japanese rounded up and interned during World War II. This country saw eugenicist sterilization of what they termed the mentally unfit in the 1920s. This country saw actual religious war in parts of the West, ranging from Missouri to Utah. Like, there have been some real bad days in American history. Like, some seriously horrible days. This day, when the Supreme Court said, not our business, and all the law reverted back to that, that's one of the darkest days in American history, according to Chuck Schumer. Interesting, interesting take there is that American women are having their rights taken by five unelected justices on on the extremist MAGA court. Extremist MAGA. These justices appointed by Republicans and presiding without accountability have stolen the fundamental rights to abortion. So, um, by the way, uh, anybody who thinks that the justices are under physical threat, mm -hmm, yeah, I mean, I'm getting that impression a little bit. Uh, Pretty amazing. Okay, so here is a Nancy Pelosi extending her comments on what a horrible and dark day it is. I mean, it's even worse than the time that her husband um, drove drunk and, and almost killed somebody. 
Right now, they're saying in states that they can arrest doctors and all the rest. What is happening here? What is happening here? A woman's fundamental health decisions are her own to make in consultation with her doctor, her faith, her family, not some right-wing politicians of, that Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell packed the court with. While Republicans seek to punish and control women, Democrats will keep fighting ferociously to enshrine Roe v. Wade and the law of the land. She's a very religious Catholic, by the way. You should know. How dare you challenge her Catholicism? Also, kill as many babies as possible, man. Yeah, you got to do that. So, again, what does this break down into? It's going to break down into some pure screaming at the sky. Uh, it's going to, the, the media is going to lose it because this is what the media do. So NBC's Pete Williams, he says, you know, we're about to become a divided country. Oh, we weren't before? Uh, you mean you, you didn't notice? Pete, welcome to the ball game, sir. 13 states have what are called trigger laws that were intended to make Roe uh, abortion uh, illegal in those states once the Supreme Court reached this decision. In a few of those states, the law takes effect immediately, and some they have to wait for the state attorney general to certify that this is what the Supreme Court has done. That's 13 states in which abortion will shortly be illegal. And in the rest of the so uh, up to about half the states, they are expected soon to make it illegal. So we're about to become a divided country, Lester, where abortion is legal in about half the states, illegal in half the states. OK, this is what is called federalism. There are a bunch of laws that vary from state to state. I mean, we may we may have pretended that federalism doesn't exist in the United States. It does. Now, again. Would I prefer that there is federal legislation protecting the lives of the unborn? Sure. Would I prefer there is a constitutional amendment, which is what I think it really would take in order to protect the lives of the unborn? Absolutely. And the constitutional amendment, by the way, on a legal level is the proper response here. A constitutional amendment protecting federally the lives of the unborn is what the right should seek. They should seek state level legislation locally. You know, going just to Congress and saying we want to protect the lives of the unborn by passing, you know, some sort of broad abortion act. The problem with that is that it lasts for about five minutes and it's unclear what the scope of Congress's actual authority is is in regulating intrastate issues like criminal law, for example. Now, I understand that we've completely obliterated the, the sort of restrictions on what the federal government can do. The federal government can now regulate how many gallons of water you use in your shower every day. But you know, from a sort of classical constitutional point of view, this was the purview of the state. So if you wish to do this federally, really, we should be seeking a constitutional amendment. But I'm, I'm absolutely flabbergasted by members of the Democratic Congress saying, how dare you kick this, this issue back to us where we can argue it? See, here's the thing. The left doesn't like arguments. They don't like arguments. They're not interested in arguments. 